Look, I claim victory by minus one bluff check. Fucking three. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I did it, I don't know how, but I did. Mm. Like, I think it's better to get like a zero on the check. Oh, God. You could have been the horse, the, the horse of non-combat. Mm. <laughs> the horse, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So good, we're all unified in our purpose. <laughs> no, I That's right. Now Ivy understands why we... <laughs> why do you even travel with that? You see. <laughs> Followed by silence. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look about it, like, mm, well... <laughs> Slowly <coming>. standing up. <laughs> Good point. Uh, why do we travel with her? She is kind of a bitch, yeah. Yeah, so you're right, yeah. Uh, well, you but see... she's our bitch. Exactly. Mm. Well, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. That's not perhaps you, how you know. That that sounded nicer in my head. Miku's gonna, <laughs> gonna, Miku's gonna fucking overhear that and say, <laughs> "Are you? What means? What does it mean when they say that you are a bitch? Since are you my you bitch too? <laughs> <laughs> you are my bitch, Alunari. Is it is another what word you for say when you respect someone. Is it not? Yeah, that's right." It is another oh, word man. for Matron. I right? might use that. That's pretty great. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> Fuck. That's the heart attack that will ensue from Elnari. <laughs> Just like this like cold look. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and again, the sub here's like the sound of an explosion coming from the sub. A, I, I'm not sure it matters how useful Miku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are God damn it! I can't. That's a great image. Yeah, I know. Tristan will laugh. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Me will will snip with his snippets. And then, uh, and then, uh, then Miku should say, Oh, I was just teasing. It's what Zin told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> Zin told me to call you a bitch. That's right. What? <laughs> oh. I do not understand the meaning of this word. Is it Elvin? He said it was an honorific. <laughs> oh, oh, man, that'd be great. Oh. And that's when Zin disappears into the hungry jungle, never to return again. Exactly, yeah, running. And then the bless is broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we will stop the session here. Makes oh. sense. Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have a big chunk of the party missing, sadly. Um, yeah. Things came up that we couldn't couldn't be helped, uh, but uh, they will be here Th next. Things time. happen. Yeah, things happen. It's okay. I think uh, I think it worked out very well with just the three of us anyway in such a cramped location like this. Yeah. And plus, I got a boat, an infinite number of tools in my bag now. <laughs> you... Now I'm ready for anything. <laughs> Again. You're really turning into uh, like a, an engineer type of thing. You were the boat bear. <laughs> The boat bear. But who's <laughs> gonna be rowing those oars? <laughs> that that folding boat completely took me by surprise. You know, it's a it's a what? just in it's a just in case measure in case you know this boat crashes or gets stranded somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I I personally I love the folding boat. It's a great magical item. I you I ne you never buy it, but when you find it, it's awesome. Yeah. It, it's no, like no, a note to self: if I'm ever DMing for Jonas, add a magic boat. Yes! It's like a potion of cure light wounds. It's not like you go out of your way to really buy those a whole lot because you want to save your money for other things. But if you find it, you're like, fuck yeah! Oh, it's a fucking it's a magical box ship! I love it! Yeah, like, awesome. in, in, the, in, in the biggest form, it can it can carry 15 people. <laughs> Easily. Like, it's great. We got our own cool. boat ship. Someone needs to sail it. Yes. Take You're gonna 20. take twenty, so you're just gonna fail for the first two minutes to sail the boat. <laughs> like, oh, I got it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, not the problem. Yeah, I, I well, just need to. I just need to learn how this works, right? You know, I'm not gonna sink. Well, well, uh, 
You know, taking 20 on anything assumes that you fail at some point, so anything that has consequences for failure, like sailing yes. the boat, might not be a good thing to... You, you do notice there's a lot of bunyips in the water. <laughs> I sunk <laughs> twice, but now I know how this works. See, so like, disable the oh. disable device, for example. Oh no, I failed to pick the lock. Oh no, I failed to... Now, if there was a trap in it, then I'd activate that shit hands down. Yep. 19 times. Like a fire explosion. The fire explosion probably wouldn't have uh, cracked the hull at all, right? Because I imagine that's what was going to happen, an explosion. If I tried to open the door, just right yeah, in the face. Yeah, that, uh, that would be uh, quite the, 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 the explosion there. Superheated Rillanid. Yep. <laughs> it's, like he was, uh, it's like being bitten by a radioactive spider, but, you know, heat instead. <laughs> I am the uh, Peter I... Parker of this universe. Yes. With great explosions comes great responsibility. <laughs> Everyone has fucking passphrases. Gnomes have passphrases, Drow has passphrases. We need a yeah. passphrase. Yeah. No reason, we, ju we just want one. Uh, well, you know, Doppelganger might try something someday. Someone might do pull an alter spe cell spell. Clearly, it must, it must be a gnomish phrase that's mocking Alanir. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, this, the, you you are about to well, not really now, but you you're certainly moving in an in an environment where political intrigue and you know cloak and dagger tactics is the you know that's that's what you live with. So yeah, so security measures of some sort. You see, and this is how so this goes. Elunary <laughs> is the ruler of Crusader Kings too. That means people target her the most. I'm the yes. spy master. No one goes after the spy master. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you know, dude, you're the evil vizier. That's right. Like scheming. So, so I'm the people that, you know, like, whenever they make plots to kill Alunary, they come to me because I'm her spy master and try to win <laughs> me to their side. Exactly. I'm like, you can, you can like bribe from both sides and play them against right. each other. It's like, Rain Kalar is the marshal. He will inevitably die in battle. Zen is. <laughs> Th that guy over there. He, the is, warden? The, he, he is the court chaplain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the royal or jester. Or would Trislin be? Uh, uh, turn up bad. See, the gardener. <laughs> see. Yeah, it, it, court jester. No, no. The honorary title. Master of the hunt. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Could, we could make her, uh, let's see, a steward. Then we lose all our money because you keep buying syrup and candy. Look what I bought! Oh, god damn it. Like this storehouse full of syrup and candy. We, we could make her chancellor. We could send her to foreign kingdoms to have oh, yeah. relations with us. That'd be great. <laughs> no one would think of us as threatening at all if we just sent Trislin, right? She would yeah, get to explore do you, exotic Do you really locations. want Trislin to repre represent us in any way? Yes! They'll think we're <laughs> terrible! <laughs> And we are terrible, but not in that way. <laughs> then they'll <laughs> underestimate us, then we can invade. Right. Send, send Miku with her to call things a bitch. <laughs> Maybe not that. I don't want them to be you insulted. You are my bitch, no. <laughs> uh, it's like him. No one actually ever tells him that it's a com a super rude, so he just com continues to use it. Casually in conversation. Yeah. Thank you, I bitch. <laughs> I like you. You are my bitch. <laughs> That's oh, how I man. speak to people in real life, so it could, no, uh, it could be successful for him. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, gonna eviscerate the hole and flood the hills of art to get quad fire and beaten blisters. Yeah. Oh. Now, one moment. I need to test this. Zin, how are you? I'm here. Stay what? still. I need to test if this works. I, I don't think you can turn them all the way around. <laughs> How rotary power did they have? Out of curiosity. No, you cannot turn them in towards the ship for obvious reasons. How sad. I don't think they're that obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what if there was people here? That's right! What if they needed to protect their backs by cross-firing out the other hatch? Hmm. <laughs> like, this one turns this way they both shoot out this hatch? That's right. 360 degree mobility is a big deal, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Especially for a flying ship. Well, we, we, we finally found treasure in the jungle. 
I can't believe mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's, de it's definitely something. <laughs> you, you, you know, you're on your way here. You have mostly trekked through, like, you know, wilderness. You haven't really encountered much. Um, no. And none of the people here have any treasure. Fungal wolves, do you have treasure? No. No. Nope. Nope. Drow warriors, or we just have gold pieces and fucking drow poison. <laughs> I yeah, mean, this turned out r rather profitable for you. Uh, it Maybe. If anyone wants mithril sprockets and 800 fucking gold pieces of mithril parts. <laughs> Who but does can, not want mithril The point sprockets. is they can be melted down into mithril, which is no evil. Okay. So it's not like we're going to be going to, like, I don't think someone on Faster Volt might say, Yes, I can make a fortune off of these in Gladenvolt! <laughs> Just runs off. <laughs> Hmm. Well, hmm. Becomes Maybe. the the gnome version of Bill Gates. Said, uh, you know, we have these ostentatious gnome uniforms. They have historical significance. Yeah, exactly. They belong in your museum. Right. Impact. <laughs> it's like, Look at this. Maybe we can, uh, maybe in studying the nose, maybe we'll find, like, some sort of medal or some sort of certificate or plaque or some shit. These are the medals that the captain gave to the crew for jobs well done. And crazy gnome job well done would be like for for <laughs> figuring out the puzzle of today. <laughs> the today's puzzle. <laughs> exactly. Solving the, the captain's puzzle box. Right. He's got a puzzle box. God damn it. Increasing the efficiency of the gears with 0.01%. It's a fourth dimension Rubik's Tesseract. Oh, I love those. <laughs> I, I love literally get lost in them. I love Tesseract. Exactly, it's my favorite thing. Yes, I acquired this from the Lady of Pain, as it turns out. Oh my goodness, yes, yes. <laughs> I've sampled her work extensively. Oh, great. The rain color pokes the wrong thing and disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is... <laughs> yep. Rain color? Rain color! <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> I'll save you! Boop! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Well. Then! Aha! Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> you are the master of the Tesseract. You should have this. You are the master of unlocking things. What about Ivy? <laughs> She's not gonna touch that shit. <laughs> She's not that curious? Come on. Nope. She's just smart enough. <laughs> she, she needs a will save to risk. <laughs> Who the fuck rolled exactly. for my orc? <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> she was like when the whole family's trapped. <laughs> so she's like, hmm, well, I know how to do it, but uh, I am free now. You'll never survive on the underdog without me. I'll take my chances, I think. <laughs> Okay, good luck piloting the submersible back up to the water. <laughs> oh, she tries, like the first thing she hits, it's full backwards, just slams <laughs> into the seabed. Well, crap. You know, I could get you out of this position if only you would release me. <laughs> it's like releasing an evil genie. <laughs> it's like, I have a magical compulsion. I must speak the truth while I'm in here. <laughs> uh, let's make a sense motive of that <laughs> well I do have a stone man <laughs> but exactly. she probably disbelieves look, me <laughs> look at my face would I lie right I can't oh. see your face mm -hmm. that's inconsequential <laughs> how could I possibly lie to you that's a roll of three by the way <laughs> <laughs> really yeah oh man that's I doubt Shell can beat uh, that's a roll of nine yeah Shell, Shell has a wisdom of five. <laughs> she, yeah, she, she's, not, <laughs> she's not working this out. Well, uh, magic items do make such... I've heard of that before. Yes, yes, you would be required to tell me the truth. And she would answer me, like, ask me a bunch of questions. I would answer her truthfully. And then, uh, you know, swear to me that blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, of course, of course. Yes. <laughs> ah, I, you know... That seems perfectly logical to me. Yeah. Well, 
Let's see here. I'll go ahead and since someone decided to make her an intelligence check for whatever reason, which I don't actually know how she made that because she... Oh no! She actually does have a positive intelligence modifier for God, so yeah. Sense motive! You can do it, Shell. Uh, I believe in you. Boop! Power up! Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a roll of nine. She that's buys it. this. Hook, line, and sinker. And let's see. Sense motive for, for the whole bluffing thing. Bluff. The target, uh, the lie is far-fetched. Minus ten. So we could subtract minus ten from the bluff check, and that would be uh, twenty-one. The lie is impossible is a minus twenty, which brings it to eleven, which still beats the six. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually... I am, um, well, I'm a gnome, and uh, I make wishes come true. <laughs> like, that sounds impossible, I believe you. But you see, I see I use my own wishes to turn myself into, into what looks like a yep. drow. Yep. Oh. The yep, the lie is impossible, minus 20. Sweet, 11 beat 6, love it. <laughs> uh, impossible. <no. laughs> so, alright, I'll release you then. <laughs> Boom. No, I'm just... Grease. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> it was such a good idea, though. Oh. Uh, I <laughs> wanted a wish. <laughs> exactly. All right, I will disconnect the server and save. <laughs> the universe is closing down. So we, we get extra experience points between the three of us, right? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, technically, I'm... all EXP should be divided by three. <laughs> That's right. I, uh, I will not be that mean, no. But <laughs> but we're the ones who risk life and limb. What if we had died to the clockwork gnome? Would you have just played with the other 40%? <laughs> <laughs> he has to come up here, see the party <laughs> slaughtered, and this clockwork gnome standing over the remains like... <sighs> I mean, what choice do they have? They can't yeah. file with the ship. They could slowly starve to death or kill themselves by trying to pilot the submarine. Mel and Mary wouldn't starve. <laughs> she could live down here forever until she suffocates. That's not a great option either. That's probably an air spell she could even use. So. Yes, probably. Create maybe, air. Maybe she would find a way to make a skeleton grow out of her body. <laughs> <laughs> that would work. I don't see why that wouldn't work. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, another session where I can't make magic. Maybe I can use all of the random tools and magical refuse <laughs> here to create wondrous item. Uh, I have a lot of alchemical reagents materials. I mean, I'm in a fucking gnome ship. How is there not materials? Most of it is destroyed, though. He, he is in that workshop space. If, if you're not going to punish Manakai and uh, Tina for not being here by denying them experience points, then you can't fun punish me for not being allowed to flourish. You could have <laughs> easily made it to Zan at the end of the session. If only we'd actually gone a full session. Yeah. Alas. <laughs> Don't punish yeah, this party, otherwise, why did I set my feet on fire? I just want to be a team player. <laughs> uh, well, pfft. if I can't I use know. my feet, what's the point of getting the feet? That's true. Uh, I mean, you could possibly salvage alchemical stuff around the ship, maybe. I mean, as I said, most is broken and destroyed. Uh, I mean, maybe it is enough to, to start creating one item. There you go. If you have one item, you can go. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Jonas, that was actually interesting because something I considered, like, I, I wonder if you can make me travel as any tools. <laughs> Just like, maybe. Ta -da! Did you ever at some point think, I wonder if you can make me a folding boat? No. Maybe someone else in the party did. <laughs> of course. Every day. Because what? What's going on is, of course, Jonas is just reading what we want. <laughs> just slowly creating them. Okay. In order of price. <laughs> I've certainly never said as much. I never even revealed to Jonas, like, the 
you know, the ultimate, although there was that possible list of magic items that I would craft that I gave to you all a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. But I've never revealed to Jonas my secret desires for items. Oh, <gasps> secret right. desires. I was busy with stuff this week. <laughs> well, I'm sure I will have things to say about the secret desires. Right. The first thing I tried to do was try to make my character more effective. I was like, what if I moved a class? I could become a a sage umbral cross blooded sorcerer. And I got like <laughs> half, like not, not no, it was actually just that the end. And then uh, oh. I only have so many class levels. Then I got like halfway through the PDF. I'm like, this is stupid. Scram! <laughs> I'm not looking at this shit until Saturday. It's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you, you could try like arcane archer or something. I actually could work, yeah. Nope. I thought of Oracle. What if Agaris cursed my character with divine power? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something a demon lord would do. <laughs> huh. And I was like, no, I don't want my character tied to her anymore. I can't do that. <laughs> Well, you know, multi-classing into barbarian is always good. No. That, that is sheep's logic to everything. Yes. I'm going to be an intelligent rager. Ah! Sheep. Mm. Of course, yes. Zinn needs to multi-class into barbarian. O of course. I have a plan already. That's right. I mean, he, he you know, fuck uh, Horizon Walker. I mean, my goodness. Hmm. Well, you know, I, I have looked into that prestige class, but I don't think I'm going to go with it. I... I don't know if it's really that great. Well, you know, gaining all those bonuses to be underground seems kind of strong to me. Yeah, Just but that out I, would, there. I, I would lose spell progression, I would lose uh, animal companion uh, levels <laughs> and all this stuff. Oh god, not animal companion. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. I don't, I don't really don't. Because we need more pets. Yeah, it's yeah, so, yeah, no, no, it's that's, so that's much what, debris. It's fucking missing, yeah. It's like it's hell dogs and gnomes Scorpions. and mushroom people and a bloody scorpion and now I don't know even what. A regurgitating what. lizard for whatever reason. Yeah. That's so hanging upside <laughs> down from a mushroom. Oh, it's so many damn people walking around. Like, at this rate, Jonas is going to have to create a separate map just to store but, everything. But, you know, that, that's one way to get an army. Just get a run, bunch of <laughs> random Yes, ev everyone just take pet classes and... Uh... So, yes, suddenly we all multi-class into sorcerer, ranger, <laughs> druids. Right, I want Perfect. a familiar... I, I thought about becoming a witch. <laughs> there we go. I call myself that's a that, warlock. That's a uh, druid uh, archetype, I think, that gets multiple pets. Yes. Uh, actually, I... I'll multi... say I'll multi class into summon a broodmaster. Yes. <laughs> broodmaster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pack pack leader or whatever for uh, for ranger. So, you, you don't like these ideas, Jonas? Come on. Nope. 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 Everyone you're meeting now has AoE attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, just wipe this, uh, wipe this up. It's like yeah, circle of death. Anything uh, be beneath a certain <laughs> HD is just gone. And this so this drow hunter here casts fireball. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, god, so where did the skull come from? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, don't make me bring in the skulls. <laughs> do it. Do it. Uh. Just come floating towards you in the darkness. Hello. Because <laughs> that's you what they do. We've been looking for you. They're possessed by goblins, of course. Yep. <laughs> Got a present for ya! Oh, they're all dead. Oh, well. So, uh, after book one inevitably ends, because I don't imagine book two's going to be in anytime soon, what were you thinking about, like, the summer of fun stuff? Obviously, we're not going to have Griff. Uh, I have actually heard there has been some movement on book two. Really? Uh, oh, so they, they apparently, status is updated to coming soon now. So, <laughs> oh, so, so they just started. It, it's, it's been coming soon for the past year. <laughs> I know, but apparently it was some sort of update that says it's now, now it's really coming soon. How am I? How am I supposed to buy it and read ahead if it doesn't come out anytime soon? God damn it! Exactly. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, I, I don't know if if, it, um, if we come to the end of book one and book two has not yet come out. Uh, I'm not sure. I will, I will look into it at that point. Uh, yeah, some more fun. I mean, I, I need fun. Damn it. I, I want to speak to Griff. See if we can I mean, work something out with that. Because, god damn it, I... I yeah, I, I see December. him occasionally on, on WoW, but he really doesn't seem very active. Either he stopped yeah. liking WoW, which is a definite possibility, or he just really doesn't have the time. Well, he's online in, in Skype right now. Yeah, he, he comes so. on and off, but I, I haven't spoken to him for quite some time now. Uh, but I would, uh, I think, uh, talk to him and see if we can work something out with that, because it would be... Uh, I mean, it's it's not... After Roldar 2 got drunk yeah. at the end of the Sandpoint adventure, yeah. just goes his own separate way, man. Yeah, <laughs> just we can't, we can't. Roldar, listen, this is not working out, all right? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe his his love was finally, you know, answered. He goes back to his love. <laughs> yeah. He just goes back to <laughs> Oh my god, I loved that so much. Yeah, it was great. It was one of my favorite things in that whole that whole series. Roldar. <laughs> At that session where like Salora steals a freaking chicken leg and runs away and then convinces <laughs> <laughs> to court this fish lady. God damn what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Salor! <laughs> Salor just running away with a, f- with a freaking turkey I, leg. I, I <laughs> feed some of the meat to his fucking horse. <laughs> Uh, I don't Heinrich even know Bonson, he... the horse ranger. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, so many good things. So many good things. And Roldar getting completely smashed at the fucking council party. Is... <laughs> um, <laughs> Aravind's like trying to stop. <laughs> yep. Oh, Headmaster, good times. I'm not sure who's in less control of his alcohol. Roldar or Brodart? <laughs> 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 hmm. I see the fast and all the as he keeps drinking. Oh yeah, that last session was was amazing. It was pretty damn good. Griff let himself go. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. Yeah, I would uh, I would love to have him back for another summer of fun go. Uh, as I said, I will try to talk to him, see see if we can conjure something up because that would be simply amazing, I think. The resummering. The resummering, exactly. Hmm. Summer Fun 2, Revengeance. Oh, it's hard to think that was so long ago. We started that like nine months ago. I know, it feels way longer. When I think back on back on it. it. feels way longer for you. I'm like, it was just like yesterday. When... No, it feels, it feels really long ago for me. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, you are such an old man now, Joe. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh god, he's gonna start talking about the Thessalonian Empire again. <laughs> exactly. I see. This <sighs> sandpoint is so boring, you don't even know. When you get down there, don't you trust anyone? It's... <laughs> They'll never respect your research or any time you spend on anything. I am misunderstood, I tell you. Always misunderstood. Unwanted, even. Underappreciated. But you understand me. Like getting closer. <laughs> oh, to be a good pl- to be a good player character again. Those were the days <laughs> when we got into like nineteen battle encounters in one second. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. Yes. The, the the horrific battle through um, uh, Thistle Top. Yeah, it's like up oh, combat, up oh, combat. <laughs> Wait, wait for it. Class- Combat. <laughs> Classic dungeon crawl. All of that. That's right. And and we I don't think we're gonna be fighting stupid enemies in the future. I can't Hello <laughs> Oh everyone likes the goblins though. No. I'm just still out there somewhere is a son of Toothy. I know. Like I like I told you, I wanted to be a goblin bard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, go, going back to 4E would definitely be quite weird for me at least because, well, I started with 4E as, as my first D&D experience, but now I have like months and months of Pathfinder behind me. Yeah. We have been going at this for, I mean, yeah, I've been playing Pathfinder more or less once a week now since, I don't know, when did we even start with where the Wicker was like 
snow was like October somewhere. I can't remember. I think the dating I think it of was... the videos was October. Yeah. Yeah. And I can drop this in around October. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It's, it you know, you get used to it. But uh, I, I'm definitely, uh, definitely still. Uh, if, if someone says fourth edition, I would be like, yeah, totally. Yeah, fourth edition is definitely not not bad. I mean. I even like it more than before after having played Pathfinder for some reason. Not because Pathfinder is bad, but I see because uh, I see the reasons why they change things in 4E at least. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a completely different system. This sort of look at it. it. You know, clearly they went for the more more of a you know computer game design for it. Like yes, we have this is a tank class. You know, this is the healer class support whatever. But you know when you want to get a good party going, it works very well. I mean, the the, the me- mechanisms uh, inter interlock, and you can you can do a lot of very cool uh, teamwork stuff with it, which I which I think is pretty awesome. Um, 